Well, good morning or good afternoon whenever it is you're watching this. Happy Friday to you. This is the devotional for Friday, the 22nd of May. I want to just thank all of you for, um, you know, being so patient with this situation that we're in. And I know it's it's taken a lot more time than we all wish for us to be able to start getting together again. But I have been encouraged by some of these various groups that have been able to start meeting again, like um, the ladies' coffee group the other day and um, some of our commissions have been meeting. You probably got an email, but I know that not everybody reads all the emails that get sent out from the church or from me. So in case you didn't hear, uh, we are planning to start the two of the adult Sunday school classes this Sunday, the 24th. Uh, so Randy will have his class uh, down on one end of the building, either in the sanctuary or the foyer. We're still working that out. Gwen will have her class down in classroom number three, where her class normally is, uh, Sunday morning at nine o'clock. Uh, we've been in touch with one of the county commissioners who said it was his understanding that we could have two different groups meeting at two different ends of the building um, as long as each of those individual groups don't become more than 25 people. So um, you know, again, you'll probably see this in the email, but in case you haven't seen it, we will ask that the people that are coming to Randy's Sunday school class will come in through the main entrance of the of the church facility. Those that are attending Gwen's class down in classroom three uh, will go in through the doors of the fellowship hall or around on the, the side door by classroom three uh, so that we can try to keep both of those groups separate so that we don't go over the, the 25 threshold. Um, also, the, there's a group that meets here on Sunday evenings at 5.30, and that group is going to begin meeting again this Sunday evening. So if you'd like to be a part of that group, uh, that they sing together, study God's Word together, have good fellowship, um, we invite you to come and be a part of that on Sunday evenings. Again, for all of you that are a part of these groups, we are just asking that we would, I guess, you know, be good citizens, follow the guidelines and recommendations from health organizations and from our government. So uh, we are asking that you try as best as you can to, to maintain uh, some physical distance. Um, if you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. Of course, we're not requiring that. We ask that you make sure and wash your hands and um, use the disinfectant and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, we Obviously, we're recommending that right now is a season where we're not, you know, greeting each other with big hugs and uh, giving each other handshakes and things like that. Um, this season will pass. Uh, we're praying sooner rather than later, but for now, uh, that's where we are at. Also, uh, Randy shared with me that the men's group that meets on Saturday mornings meets for prayer at 7 a.m. and for Bible study at 7.45. That group will not be meeting this Saturday, but will begin to meet again on Saturday, May 30th. Okay, Saturday, May 30th. So guys, uh, we'd just encourage you. Um, you've been missing fellowshipping with other men, studying God's Word together, praying together. So I'd invite you to come Saturday morning, starting the following Saturday, May the 30th. Um, so in our Bible reading for today, there were, there's, always, there's always lots of good stuff, but today we were in 1 Chronicles 16, and it's a, a prayer of David, or a, really a song of thanks uh, that David shares after he brings the Ark of the Covenant, the, the presence of, uh, the represent, representative of God's presence into Jerusalem, and there's this big celebration. And David writes this song of thanks that actually is a, a par the, the parallel is in Psalm 105. But since our reading today was in 1 Chronicles 16, I'm actually just going to read that passage because it's just powerful. If you're doing our daily Bible reading, you may have already read this or you're going to read this in a little while. If you're using some other kind of Bible reading plan, that's great. Um, and I do, I just encourage you to daily be in God's Word. But in case this was not something that you have read or are going to read today, I just really want you to hear these powerful words from 1 Chronicles 16. Starting at verse 8. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the peoples. Sing to Him. Sing praises to Him. Tell of all His wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. 
O offspring of Israel, his servant, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed as a statute to Jacob, as an everlasting covenant to Israel, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When you were few in number and of little account and sojourners in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Touch not my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth, tell of his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and he is to be held in awe above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his place. Ascribe to the Lord, O clans of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Say also, save us, O God of our salvation, and gather and deliver us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. Well, I won't be able to hear you now, but I will just uh, ask you to say amen to those powerful words from David in that great song of thanks. And those would be great words for us to meditate on today, just to praise the Lord, uh, to ask him for salvation uh, for people around us, to give thanks to him for all that he has done. Let's just glory in him today. And friends, we look forward to uh, opportunities that we will have to gather together in these smaller groups and uh, keep praying for that day to come soon when we'll be gathered together in the worship center singing songs of praise to our Lord and uh, preaching his word and fellowshipping with one another. That day will come, friends, uh, but be patient. But for now, continue to give thanks to the Lord for he is good. God bless you. Have a great Friday.